But first, a man ended up in intensive care after this encounter with police. New tonight, ABC Action News pressing officers about what he did before video started recording. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Dueller. Witnesses captured part of the encounter on video, which some will find hard to watch. ABC Action News reporter Nicole Gregg joining us live from where this happened. Nicole? <laughs> Yes, and lots of questions here tonight. Police say the man in the video, he is charged with resisting arrest without violence. No, just relax. In the first seconds of the video, police appear to have Golvenda Howell's hands behind his back as people shout. Just relax. Just relax. Then you see another officer run full speed up. Relax. He's Officers then wrestle Hal to the ground. Oh, oh, he at one point in the video, we count at least four officers on top of him. Oh, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. From there, we see him appear to stand with help from officers. From there, all you see is flashing police lights, but you hear a woman. He is handcuffing and beating him. He is human, not an animal. And that's the way they treated him. Hal's aunt talking to me minutes after she went before city commissioners begging for a thorough investigation. She says he's mentally challenged and has mental illnesses. But it just seemed like it's in the black neighborhood that you jump on us and that you just beat us up. Police say Hal was a passenger in this car during the traffic stop. He was in the back seat with a dog. I talked with a guy driving. He says he hired Hal to come over and clean his dog cage. So open door, boy, snatch him out. They snatch him out. So they put him, try to put him on the car. I don't know, I don't know what. I really don't know what happened from there. I just know that he ended up on the ground, and I just seen it. It just went haywire from there. Police say Hal swallowed those drugs, and that's why he was hospitalized. But they have not told us what time that was. And I want those cops who was kicking and beating on him to, you know, you own up to it. You tell us to own up to ours. So you own up to yours. And Hal is currently not facing any drug related charges. His aunt even tells me that she does not believe that account because she says her nephew is currently trying to get custody back of his nine year old daughter. Reporting live in Sarasota, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News. Nicole, thank you. And that full witness video is more than 11 minutes long. We have the entire uncut raw version posted right now at abcactionnews.com here so you can watch it for yourself. And you can count on ABC Action News to continue pressing police for answers in this case. When